When you create something, you want it to be excellent and not just okay. A lot of, a lot of thinking, a lot of trial and error. And I thought to myself one day, oatmeal bread, you know, the greens need to be moist. So why can't I make bread out of extra oatmeal? We're reducing hot cereal waste by 75 pounds a week. People at the cereal station, they bring us the cereal. They said, do you want the cereal today? Most of the time we say yes. This is the tricky part. Because people make their hot cereal, sometimes it's drier or it's more wet. It's different. A lot of the times there's a lot of differentiations with the hot cereal when it's brought to you after breakfast. So this is the part that you need to pay attention, you need to go by feel, and you need to know how to make bread. Otherwise, it's not going to come out for you. When you touch the dough, it feels like your earlobe. Just that soft, soft feeling, and you know you've nailed it. He's trying to break out, and the gluten's trying to keep it in, so the balance is delicious bread. <laughs> And I thought to myself, why can't we make bread out of all our hot cereals? If you want vegan bread, you, because we do the ancient grain vegan bread, the grits cereal gets turned into cheesy grits bread, which is, oh my goodness, it's my favorite. And make garlic bread out of that, forget it. It's just, it's outstanding. And there's this one young man, he calls it exquisite. He tells me all the time, this bread is exquisite. At 10.30, you have this extra cereal, and it could easily go into the pig bucket, which it's not going into the landfill. That's great, but it's, it's a waste of money. It's a waste of time, and why throw it into the pig bucket when, when you can make a great loaf of bread with it, and it comes back to your customer. There you close, that's where you close the loop, and the customers get it back only better. This is all about the impact on, on our planet, not just the, an impact on your family, you know. It's, we're all in this now.